This is just an ordinary looking tower. You've probably seen one of these buildings, but this is what a clock tower looks like compared to a human. But before climbing your local tower to take an epic picture, think about how you'll get down afterwards. The next one is a blue whale. You've probably heard that it's the biggest whale in the world, but how big is it? The average length of this creature is around 79 feet, and this is the size of a human compared to an adult blue whale. Also, the blue whale has the largest heart compared to any living animal. Its heart is so big that a human could swim through its veins like tunnels. By the way, the tiniest animal heart belongs to fairy flies. This cute little creature is just 0.02 inches long. You need a microscope to see its heart, which has the shape of a tube running along the fairy fly's back. The average fingernail of an adult is around 0.5 inches, which means that your single nail can host a party for 70 fairy flies. This is what the rusty spotted cat looks like. It reminds me of a leopard or a lynx, but let's compare this animal with an ordinary tree leaf. It doesn't look so scary anymore, does it? The rusty spotted cat is one of the smallest members of the cat family. It only weighs two pounds and is two times smaller than any domestic cat. An adult human can easily fit this cat in one palm. This is an average 20-foot shipping container. Most of those containers can take up to 28 tons of food and water. And this is the blue whale's mouth, which can hold up to 90 tons of food and water. The tongue of the blue whale alone weighs 2.7 tons. Here's what it looks like compared to a human tongue, which is only 3.3 inches long. This is what the Great Pyramids of Egypt looked like in the desert. And now, let's take a look at the same pyramids with a human standing nearby. The surface doesn't look so smooth anymore, does it? It reminds me of this next picture, human skin cells. Using macro photography, we will see that it looks like a deserted location from a fantasy novel. But let's zoom this out a little bit and we'll see smooth and rosy human cheeks. This is a contemporary microcomputer introduced by IBM in March 2018. And here's what it looks like compared to a grain of salt. The device was designed to make very accurate temperature measurements in cells and it's only 0.04 inches long and wide. Now let's compare this tiny device with the first personal computer from the middle of the 20th century. IBM developed this fully functional computer known as the Harvard Mark I. The size of this machine was more than 50 feet long. It had about 750,000 separate parts and weighed 5 tons. Can you find the microcomputer in this room? Or maybe any salt grains? Mona Lisa is one of the most famous paintings in the world. More than 6 million visitors arrive at the Louvre each year to find out that Mona Lisa is actually relatively tiny. See? The portrait is 21 inches in length and 30 inches wide. It's smaller than the average modern TV. Maybe that's why her smile is so mysterious. <laughs> you must have seen hundreds of these traffic lights everywhere. But this is what they look like compared to a human. This iceberg looks pretty massive, doesn't it? But we only see the part which is outside of the water. It's nothing compared to the part hiding deep in the ocean. Voila! If you think that you've ever studied someone's character from head to toes, just remember this picture. Let's dive deep into the ocean and meet this guy, the giant squid. And here's what it looks like compared to a human. Recent estimates suggest that the squid's maximum size can reach around 43 feet for females and 33 feet for males. Here's an asteroid in the sky. Not that big of a deal, just a stone. But this is what an asteroid looks like compared to Los Angeles. Here's the famous Statue of Liberty. This lady is 305 feet tall. Also, Miss Liberty's feet are five times longer than the average human height. Each foot is 25 feet long, equal to US women's shoe size 879. But she's pretty tiny compared to India's Statue of Unity, which is almost 600 feet tall. The world's tallest statue has the height of a 60-story skyscraper. Here's what the Jaragua lizard looks like on the ground. And now, let's compare its size with an ordinary matchstick. Amazing! Scientists call this little cutie the world's smallest reptile. 
you can easily fit the lizard on your nail since it's only 0.6 inches in length from nose to tail. Here's an ordinary gallon water jug. And here's the number of jugs you'll need if you ever decide to collect all water from the ocean. This task is pretty hard since an average ocean contains 352 quintillion gallons of water. Even if you start right now and will work another 80 years without any rest or sleep, you'll be able to fill about 504 million containers. Not a bad result, but still far from the quintillion. There are 8,000 roses in this garden, weighing approximately 22 pounds. And here's how much essential oil we can yield from this amount of flowers. A tiny 0.2 ounce bottle. But the smell is so good. This cutie's name is Pygmy Marmoset. And now, let's take a look at this creature compared to a human palm. This monkey is so tiny that it can easily sit on your finger. Pygmy Marmoset is native to the Western Amazon Basin rainforests in Southern America. But recently, people began to adopt these monkeys as pets. Now let's take a look at this beautiful exotic heron. And this is what it looks like next to a human. I'm just kidding, it's not a heron. It's a Quetzal coatless, the largest pterodactyl and the biggest alive thing that ever flew. It lived over 66 million years ago and had the size of an adult giraffe, from 23 up to 43 feet. The wingspan of this animal is estimated at 36 feet, which is three times more than the wingspan of the wandering albatross, the largest known bird today. Here's what the Quetzal Coatless would look like today in the streets of Paris. Speaking of wingspans, did you know that your height equals the span of your arms when you stretch them out to the sides? Let's test this rumor on this guy. Well, that's pretty accurate. You can also check this tip at home by measuring your arm span with a measuring tape, but don't expect 100% accuracy. Here's the average concert grand piano weighing around 1,200 pounds. And this is what it looks like compared to an elephant. The piano and the elephant are almost identical in weight, but elephants are at least twice as tall. Take a look at this gorgeous tree. And now, let's see what it looks like compared to the human palm. Bonsai trees can be as tiny as 1 to 3 inches. Here's what a bonsai tree looks like compared to General Sherman a giant old tree located in the giant forest of Sequoia National Park in the USA. General Sherman is 270 feet tall. You need at least 20 people to hug this legendary tree because it has a circumference of 103 feet, and the tree is still growing. This is a basket with 550 peanuts, the approximate amount required to produce this little 12-ounce jar of your favorite peanut butter. According to the law in the United States, any product labeled peanut butter must contain at least 90% of peanuts. Therefore, you use around 46 nuts when you spread 2 tablespoons of peanut butter on your toast. We all heard that our sun is way bigger than planet Earth, but in fact, it's so giant that you could fit over 1 million Earths inside one sun. Imagine how many people the sun might host if we could stand its temperature. According to NASA, the weather at the sun's core varies from around 27 million degrees Fahrenheit to about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit at the surface. That's a little toasty. Finally, the human body looks pretty material and dense, but 99.9% .9 of your body is empty space. Don't worry, everything in this visible universe, including your house, spouse, friends, pets, and co-workers, is 99.9% .9 empty space as well. According to scientists, if we remove all of this empty stuff from every atom in every person on planet Earth and then compress all the remaining particles together, the overall volume of the matter would be smaller than a sugar cube. So whatever problem you're facing right now, it's not a big deal.